If you're watching this video, you're probably a fan of space games or maybe DCS. You own a box or two of joysticks. And sometimes you just feel like you want a little more control than the default software or game allows. Maybe you've run into a limitation with the amount of joysticks a game will recognize. Or you're using multiple brands of joysticks and controllers that your software just can't control. Joystick Gremlin is a great little utility that allows you to consolidate many physical joysticks down into some virtual devices, apply some configuration settings you wouldn't be able to do otherwise in game, and simplify your joystick experience. We'll also be talking about a utility called HitHide that lets you take control of what programs see your actual joysticks. It's very similar to a utility we used to use called HitGuardian, but it's a much more updated and simplified product. Hopefully this video simplifies things for you and helps you get started. Today we're going to talk about Joystick Gremlin and using it to consolidate all of your joysticks in one easy place. Using joysticks from different vendors is not a problem. We're going to walk through merging multiple physical joysticks into virtual joysticks and all the software required. We'll also show you how to hide physical joysticks from any program. The three pieces of software we'll be using are HitHide, VJoy, and Joystick Gremlin. We'll use HitHide to hide our physical joysticks from the game but to allow Joystick Gremlin and any configuration software to see the joysticks. We'll be using VJoy to install a virtual joystick on the operating system, and we'll be using Joystick Gremlin to leverage that virtual joystick. Once everything's configured, the game will only see virtual joysticks when doing joystick bindings. It will also make adjusting curves, saturation, and dead zones more manageable and we'll be able to bind physical joysticks directly to the default mouse and keyboard shortcuts and persistently store all of these settings outside of the game. Disconnect all joysticks from the system before installing the software. To get started, we'll need to download and install VJoy, HitHide, and Joystick Gremlin. I've placed links for all three in the description below. For HitHide, be sure to install the prerequisite Microsoft packages. In my case, they were already installed. Start by installing VJoy first. Install HitHide next. Make sure the prerequisite files are installed. And finally, install Joystick Gremlin and restart the PC. Let's configure VJoy. Launch the Configure VJoy application. Make sure VJoy is enabled and add a device. Restart the computer when prompted. Launch the Configure VJoy application again. Change the number of buttons to 64. Set the POV hat switch to continuous and select the number 4. Apply the configuration and restart when prompted. At this point, we can plug our joysticks back into the computer. Now let's configure hit height. We'll set it up so programs like Joystick Gremlin and any config software can see our physical joysticks, but keep them hidden from the game. Launch the HitHide configuration client. Now we'll specify the programs we want to allow to see our physical joysticks. If you don't see the HitHide client.exe listed here, be sure to add it so HitHide will list the joystick names properly once they're hidden. Add the location of the Joystick Gremlin executable file. Add the location of any joystick configuration software you may need, like Verpal or VKB's configuration utilities. 
select the Devices tab. Here we'll select any joysticks we want to hide. Don't select the VJoy device. Enable device hiding. Now that the joysticks are hidden, we can move on with configuring Joystick Gremlin. Joystick Gremlin is a very powerful tool. There's a lot of things you can do with it. We'll go through a basic example here of adding axes, a few buttons, and some keyboard and mouse bindings. These four things are really the core of getting started with Joystick Gremlin. The tabs along the top represent your physical joysticks, their axes, and buttons. We want to map these to the virtual joystick that we have, and then use this virtual joystick in the game. Let's start by configuring my left virtual joystick and binding it to the virtual device. In the input viewer, I'll select the left joystick's axes and buttons, as well as the virtual devices. This makes it easier to see what's getting bound to what. We'll bind the left joystick's X and Y axes to the X and Y rotation axes on the virtual device. We'll use the remap function for this, which is the default selection in the dropdown. Notice when I move my left stick's X and Y axes, we see that in the input viewer, but we don't see anything yet on the VJoy device. This is normal because we have yet to activate the profile. Next, we'll bind the left joystick's buttons 3 and 4 to the VJoy buttons 3 and 64. Notice again when I click the buttons on the physical joystick, only the physical joystick buttons light up. Now we'll bind physical button 6 on the left joystick to a keyboard shortcut. We'll bind it to the key X. Change the drop down from remap to map to keyboard, click add, record keys, and press X on the keyboard. Now let's map button 12 to a right mouse click. Change the drop down to map to mouse, click add, click the record button, and right click the mouse. Let's add a curve. Click the physical X axis and we'll add a curve to the X rotation on the VJoy device. Select response curve from the drop down menu. Click add. Check off diagonal symmetry and add a point to the curve. Diagonal symmetry keeps both sides of the curve equal for an axis that has a center. We'll add a bit of set or dead zone and some outer saturation or dead zone. We now have a curve and some dead zones on the virtual axes. Let's save the profile. In order for our bindings to be applied, we need to activate the profile. Click the activate button so it turns green. Always make sure the profile is active before you start the game. Now that the profile is activated, both the physical and virtual axes and buttons that we remapped light up. We can also see in Notepad that the buttons 6 and 12 now correspond to the letter X and a mouse right click. I've gone ahead and added more axes and button bindings to the right joystick. Once I save and activate the profile, we can see that movements and button presses from both joysticks are mapped to one single virtual device. The axes and buttons recorded in the game are from the single virtual joystick. The game doesn't see our physical bindings because they're hidden with hit hide. The keyboard shortcuts and mouse clicks we bound in Joystick Gremlin will also be recognized by the game. Those are the basic steps on how to hide joysticks from any game, bind everything through Joystick Gremlin to one virtual device, and be able to use keyboard shortcuts and mouse clicks from your physical joysticks. Keep in mind that with one virtual joystick, we're limited to binding 8 axes, 64 buttons, and 4 hats. In most cases, this will be fine for users with just a couple of joysticks who want to merge them into one device. If you have 3 plus devices with multiple axes that you want to rebind, it may be beneficial to use two virtual devices. 
I'll show you how to add a second VJoy device now. The instructions are slightly different than the first device. Launch the Configure VJoy application. Click the tab labeled 2 and add a device. Restart the PC when prompted. Launch the Configure VJoy application. Click the tab labeled 2 and change the number of buttons to 63. Joystick Gremlin requires VJoy devices to be unique in configuration, so it will reduce the number of buttons on VJoy 2 from 64 to 63. Set the POV hat switch to continuous and select 4. Click apply and restart when prompted. Notice now when you launch Joystick Gremlin, you have access to two virtual devices, VJoy 1 and VJoy 2. You're now able to consolidate multiple physical devices to two virtual devices that have 16 axes, 127 buttons, and 8 hats. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helped. If there's anything specific you'd like to see in Joystick Gremlin, comment below and maybe we can do a second video and explore some advanced techniques together.